Article 11. Jurisdiction over Dangerous Drugs Cases. Section 90. Jurisdiction. The Supreme Court shall designate special courts from among the existing regional trial courts in each judicial region to exclusively try and hear cases involving violations of the Act. The number of courts designated in each judicial region shall be based on the population and the number of cases pending in their respective jurisdiction. The DOJ, through its provincial city prosecution offices, shall designate special prosecutors to exclusively handle cases involving violations of the Act. The preliminary investigation of cases filed under the Act shall be terminated within a period of 30 days from the date of their filing. When the preliminary investigation is conducted by a public prosecutor and a probable cause is established, the corresponding information shall be filed in court within 24 hours from the termination of the investigation. If the preliminary investigation is conducted by a judge and a probable cause is found to exist, the corresponding information shall be filed by the proper prosecutor within 48 hours from the date of receipt of the records of the case. However, when the prosecutor disagrees with the finding of the municipal trial court and he, she, finds the need to conduct a formal reinvestigation of the case to clarify issues or to afford either party the opportunity to be heard to avoid miscarriage of justice, the prosecutor has to terminate the investigation within 15 days from receipt of the records, and if probable cause exists, to file the corresponding information in court within 48 hours from termination of the investigation. Trial of the case under this section shall be finished by the court not later than 60 days from the date of the filing of the information. Decision and said cases shall be rendered within a period of 15 days from the date of submission of the case for resolution. Section 91. Responsibility and liability of law enforcement agencies and other government officials and employees in testifying as prosecution witnesses in dangerous drugs cases. Any member of law enforcement agencies or any other government official and employee who, after due notice, fails or refuses intentionally or negligently to appear as a witness for the prosecution in any proceeding involving violations of the Act without any valid reason shall be punished with imprisonment of not less than 12 years and one day to 20 years and a fine of not less than 500,000 pesos in addition to the administrative liability he or she may be meted out by his or her immediate superior and or appropriate body. The immediate superior of the member of the law enforcement agency or any other government employee mentioned in the preceding paragraph shall be penalized with imprisonment of not less than two months and one day, but not more than six years, and a fine of not less than 10,000 paces, but not more than 50,000 paces, and in addition, perpetual absolute disqualification from public office, if despite due notice to them and to the witness concerned. The former does not exert reasonable effort to present the latter to the court. The member of the law enforcement agency or any other government employee mentioned in the preceding paragraphs shall not be transferred or reassigned to any government office located in another territorial jurisdiction during dependency of the case in court. However, the concerned member of the law enforcement agency or government employee may be transferred or reassigned for compelling reasons, provided that his, her, immediate superior shall notify the court in writing where the case is pending of the order to transfer or reassign within 24 hours from its approval, provided 
further that his, her, immediate superior shall be penalized with imprisonment of not less than two months and one day, but not more than six years, and a fine of not less than 10,000 paces, but not more than 50,000 paces, and in addition, perpetual absolute disqualification from public office should he, she, fail to notify the court in writing of such order to transfer or reassign. Prosecution and punishment under this section shall be without prejudice to any liability for violation of any existing law. Section 92. Delay and bungling in the prosecution of drug cases. Any government officer or employee tasked with the prosecution of drug-related cases under the Act, either as prosecutor, prosecution witness, or as law enforcement agent, who, through patent laxity, inexcusable neglect, unreasonable delay, or deliberately causes the unsuccessful prosecution and or dismissal of the said drug cases shall suffer the penalty of imprisonment ranging from 12 years and one day to 20 years without prejudice to his her prosecution under the pertinent provisions of the revised penal code section 93 reclassification addition or removal of any drug from the list of dangerous drugs the board shall have the power to reclassify, add to, or remove from the list of dangerous drugs. Proceedings to reclassify, add, or remove a drug or other substance may be initiated by the PIDEA, the DOH, or by petition from any interested party, including the manufacturer of a drug, a medical society or association, a pharmacy association, a public interest group concerned with drug abuse, a national or local government agency, or an individual citizen. When a petition is received by the board, it shall immediately begin its own investigation of the drug. The PIDEA also may begin an investigation of a drug at any time based upon the information received from law enforcement laboratories, national and local law enforcement and regulatory agencies, or other sources of information. The board, after notice and hearing, shall consider the following factors with respect to each substance proposed to be reclassified, added, or removed from control. A its actual or relative potential for abuse. b. Scientific evidence of its pharmacological effect if known. c. The state of current scientific knowledge regarding the drug or other substance. d. Its history and current pattern of abuse. e. The scope, duration, and significance of abuse. f. Risk to public health. and g whether the substance is an immediate precursor of a substance already controlled under the Act. The Board shall also take into accord the obligations and commitments to international treaties, conventions, and agreements to which the Philippines is a signatory. The Dangerous Drugs Board shall give notice to the general public of the public hearing of the reclassification, addition to, or removal from the list of any drug by publishing such notice in any newspaper of general circulation once a week for two weeks. The effect of such reclassification, addition, or removal shall be as follows. A. In case a dangerous drug is reclassified as precursor and essential chemical, the penalties for the violations of the Act pertaining to precursors and essential chemicals shall, in case of conviction, be imposed in all pending criminal prosecutions. b. In case a precursor and essential chemical is reclassified as dangerous drug, the penalties for violations of the Act involving precursors and essential chemicals shall, in case of conviction, be imposed in all pending criminal prosecutions. c. In case of the addition of a new drug to the list of dangerous drugs and precursors and essential chemicals, no criminal liability involving the same under the Act shall arise until after the lapse of 15 days from the last publication of such notice.
D. In case of removal of a drug from the list of dangerous drugs and precursors and essential chemicals, all persons convicted and or detained for the use and or possession of such a drug shall be automatically released and all pending criminal prosecution involving such a drug under the Act shall forthwith be dismissed. And e. The Board shall, within five days from the date of its promulgation, submit to Congress a detailed reclassification, addition, or removal of any drug from the list of dangerous drugs. We hope you have enjoyed listening. More audiobooks are coming your way. Please support by clicking the subscribe button and bell icon to receive notifications of our latest upload. A like and share is appreciated. Audio and performance copyright by Rock Audio. All rights reserved.